Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on how to register for camp. So you go to the home page here, click camp registration, click here to register. If you're returning, obviously you put your email and password. Um, your password will be emailed to you and you can change that. So here you'll click here to create a new account. It starts off with camper information. So this will be your first camper. Um, you can put that in. You can add more here. It's easier to do from the other page. So I'll show you that. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick test camper here. Um, put the date of birth. Um, put the grade. Most campers aren't going to have an email. All teenagers might, but. You can put an email address here or not. That doesn't really matter. It's not required because it doesn't have the red asterisk. Uh, preferred name, you can do that. Um, and then this is the home address for the camper. So I'm just going to make up something here. I'll just put that in. Um, or it says home phone. This is required. I know a lot of people don't have a home phone now. You can put a cell phone number, which is fine. Um, you can put the first and last name. I'm just making a made up person here. This is a real email address though. So I'll just All right, again you put cell phone, work phone, those aren't required. Church name you'll select from your this list here. If your church is not on there, um, you can let us know and you can email me and I can add it pretty quick. Um, if not you can hit other and it'll give you a box to put it in there. So I'm just gonna select my church. Pastor name, um, click, you can put their phone number and all that other stuff if you can, um, but just for sake of time, I'm going to do this. Um, when you get to this point, you select what your camper will be doing, okay? So at this point, your kid is not registered for camp, you're going to add an option. So if you're a worker, you might do some of these other ones right here. If you're just doing a camper, junior camp, or teen camp, or if you're doing working at junior camp, um, you click volunteer here and you're actually going to be a teen camper or a teen worker as well. You could select the one here. I'm just going, for sake of this, I'm just going to do a junior camper. So I select camper there. Save and continue. Um, choose a cert, shirt size. So we have youth sizes and adult sizes. So I'll do a youth medium. You can select money to put on your canteen or you can just send money when they come. However, um, hit save and continue. Stakes form is required. Some medical form. If you're a volunteer, you'll see other forms. This is just a medical form. So, and then you just answer the questions here with explanations. Um, you know, if they apply. Um, so let me just quickly go through this. Um, let me just select these. Select the date, hit submit. Okay, so this form is done. You got to check these next two. You don't have to do to enroll, but this is information we will need. So this is a release. Um, if you click this, it'll download the form. Everybody needs to at least bring one of these to camp. Um, if you want to download it, fill it out, scan it, and upload it, that's great. It keeps it here. We, that way we can't lose it. Um, but you don't have to do that to finish enrolling. This is also, all this is an upload. You can upload a copy of your insurance card or you can bring it to camp when you come. Hit save and continue. Um, so this, this brings you to this medical section here, or excuse me, the financial section. If you want to pay now, you can. You'd click pay in full, click with a credit card. If you put zero deposit and credit card, it's still going to require your card information. So I'm just going to put pay other amount. I was going to put pay deposit now and check that way I'm bringing a check to camp okay schedule payment I'm gonna pay at junior camp and I'm gonna select I read this um, and hit submit all right so that brings us back to this screen right here 
It says your enrollment request was set successfully submitted. Okay, from here, um, you can go back to, uh, you, can, you can hit home. It's going to bring you here and click enrollment. Um, that's where it's going to show your camper. If you want to upload a picture of them, that's perfectly fine. Um, you can also add a new camper here. Notice how, um, you know, it's just in, it says enroll um, and it's blue. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and accept this camper in because when you register, it gives, sends us a notice and we just go through and do something real quick to fully enroll them. And I'm going to pause this and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, so I went through and did my thing on the other end, so I'm going to refresh this. All right, and it's going to say currently enrolled for 2022. Okay, so that means that camper has been enrolled, has been accepted. It shows you right here um, what they're registered for. You should receive an email as well to your personal email that you used. Um, that'll have a little statement on there to give you more information. Um, to add, you know, additional camper siblings, if you're doing this as a church, uh, church members or whatever, um, you can just click here, add a camper, you'll go through the same process again. If you need to go back um, to forms, if you didn't have your insurance card or you went and scanned that other one you want to fill it out, just click here, click on that camper name, it'll bring you back here and you can complete that. Again, the camper release form has to be at least brought to camp. If you have insurance, we also like to have a copy of that. Your card, um, but you do have to have this, okay? So either bring it with you, you can mail it to us, or you can um, upload it here. Uh, there's a few other things on here, like if you want to change your password, click My Account. Um, you can go here to Password, and you can change that, because it sends you one that's just some random crazy numbers and letters. But you can put your own password in there. You can update email uh, information and other stuff here. Just remember, um, we're on here in enrollment is until it turns green, you're, you know, they're not completely in, and that may take a day or so. But that's it. Um, just check the emails. If you do need to, for some reason, make a change, such as put the wrong shirt size or something of that nature, just email us. You can email me right here, and we would change. You know, we could change that information for you. Have any other questions, text or email, let us know, and hopefully this will make it easier and um, check in will go a lot smoother. All right, again, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.